I had a dream with Hulk Hogan. We were at this weird club down on the strip. I was just doing my thing, y'all feel me? When I look across the club, see this dude staring. And I was like, shit, that's Hulk Hogan. And he was mean mugging me hard, talking all this. Whoa, 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 yeah. Brother, oh yeah, brother, brother. You wanna go brother? And for whatever reason, he sounded like Danny Trejo. So anyway, I sat down with him and this dude starts shoveling the skitty in me dog. And then I look at the rest of the restaurant behind him and they all think it's like some friggin' spaghetti wrestling match. So I head back home to start training with my cats and homies. And the Hulkster did too. And brother, let me tell you something, brother. He is a freak. I mean, I was literally sitting there for hours and hours with Martin Lawrence and Danny DeVito, just hammering pounds of spaghetti. In fact, this dude ended up going back to the restaurant every day and he started cleaning the whole place out of spaghetti. The wait staff didn't know what to do. They started panicking. And then I guess they all got pissed off and started yelling until Hulk Hogan got pissed off about them yelling. And that was the last straw, duh. God damn it. Hey, listen up, brother. You wanna keep yelling? I'll give you something to yell about, brother. He still sounded like Danny Trejo too. So then, the hoax stare had spaghetti battles with a few of the patrons in the restaurant. And no one could take him. Dude was unstoppable. You what the hell? Gross. I'm gonna That's be so sick. Holy crap, gross. The next thing I know, the hoax stare starts cooking up spaghetti at people's tables like Gordon Fred or Ramsay. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's really wrong. So after a week of training back home, I decided it was time to go back to the restaurant to face Hulk Hogan and his spaghetti eating battle. He had the table filled with piscetti dog. So I sat down and get this, he, he was so full from eating Scott Betty all week. Dude couldn't even handle a full, full dog. Dude started ralphing all over the place, bro. He was done. And I was named as the reigning spaghetti eating champion. And that was my dream. And I didn't need anyone's fries. That's a magical story. Didn't I, James, tell you to say that? <laughs>